are sitting prematurely after officials from Gulf Power Limited, a private power generating company, failed to provide the necessary information about its ownership. So General Manager Norman Wanyiri and his team were sent away after they failed to reveal the names of the beneficial owners of the company. Safina Chieng Ouma followed the committee's sittings, which also saw the management of the Lake Turkana Wind Power Project queried over penalty fees of 24 billion shillings it charged the government for delays in connection of its plan to the national grid. Highest rank in the company. The Senate Committee on Energy met officials of private power generating companies to seek answers on the skyrocketing cost of electricity in the country. First to appear before the Senator Wahome Wamatinga led committee were officials from the Gulf Power Limited led by the general manager Norman Wanyiri. Senator Edwin Sefuna taking issue with shareholding of KPLC staff retirement benefits scheme in Gulf Power Limited, terming it a potential conflict of interest. You agree with me that a reduction in your profits is a reduction in their dividends, in their earnings from the company as shareholders. I agree that it affects everyone, not just uh, the pension fund. Yeah, so my brother, that is called conflict of interest. The officials were also hard pressed to unravel the mystery behind the official owners of the company. Some of the owners of this garant include the former PSs, the former CS of Energy, and some very prominent Kenyans. That's why you'll not be wanting to mention their names here. Are you telling us it is those that that company is still Kenyans hiding in Mauritius? And why is it necessary for them to hide in Mauritius? I may not be able to answer that question, sir. The session was adjourned prematurely after the committee members failed to get answers of the questions they raised. When we invite an organization to come and make presentations here, we always want to have the top. The person before us is not the one who is supposed to be before us. Francis Njoku is the one that we should be interrogating. It is a waste of time to sit here and try to get answers to questions that you are either not willing all answers that you do not have. Also grilled during the Monday afternoon session was the management of the Lecture Kana Wind Power who were put to task to provide a breakdown of penalty fees it imposed on the government for delays in connection of its plant to the national grid. The company demanded for 167 million euros, an equivalent of 24 billion Kenyan shillings. The company's managing director blaming the huge penalty on the government's decision to take over part of the project. We all sat as Kenyans and we found a win-win solution. The solution was you could pay 167 million in cash, which the lenders were demanding, that is your contractual right, or we sat down and said we don't need all of that in cash now. We have 40 million. We need to be able to pay debt because you've told us that the transmission line will take another year. During that time, we have costs, we have debt repayment, we took 46 million in cash. Uh, when you talk about uh, taking some 40 million odd uh, euros and disappearing with it, uh, from you, it might uh, seem to you like an act of uh, uh, generosity on your part to the Kenyan taxpayer. But from where we sit, uh, that is a very huge dent for the Kenyan taxpayer to take. He's taking care of his interests by the public sector. The public, the Kenyan public, interest was not taken into consideration. According to the senators, the high cost of electricity is driven by the profit motivation of the shareholders of privately owned independent power producing companies, which supplies a large percentage of the country's electricity. The senators are also proposing to push for legislation to stop local companies from entering into unclear agreements with companies registered offshore. Safin Acheng Oma, Citizen TV.